Welcome to Public Affairs on KNDY Radio. I am your host, Stacey Mayer. Joining me today is Laura Richter. She is one of the Marysville Sparklers who is helping put Marysville's best face forward. Welcome, Laura. Thank you. Laura, can you tell our listeners exactly what the Sparklers or who the Sparklers are and how you became involved with them? We're just a large group of volunteers from Marysville, and we work at about seven or eight different parks that we have in town to keep them clean and sparkling. How did you become interested in this type of volunteering? Well, I actually went to the old courthouse and asked to volunteer there, and that's where I started. And then Beth worked there all the time, and she was in one day, and she said, do you work outside ever? And I said, yes. And she said, do you want to come help me at a park over here? And I did, and I stayed there. Can you tell our listeners what areas of town that you actually work on? Yes, we have them. One's called the 7th Street Corridor, and it's by the Wagon Wheel Restaurant. It's along where the parking lot is there. And the... Pony Mound, right by the highway there. And we have the water tower up on the hill, a rose garden over by the city park, the historic courthouse, the airport, we have a part out there, and the welcome center. As you're coming into town, it's just a small area, but it has roses and lilies out there. And we have a gal there that takes care of there. And the Kester House Gardens. Are there specific people in charge of each area? Yes, there are. Each area has like a leader, and then she has three or usually three or four gals that help out. And then other times, sometimes, you know, one of the leaders might send it out to all of the other leaders. If they're doing something specific and they and they want more help, they'll just say, I'm, you know, I'm put, like last year, I think Sharon Kessinger had hundreds of bulbs to plant up on the hill, uh, the water tower hill, and she just asked anybody that wanted to come up and help to do so, and she got a lot of gals, you know, that did that. So, Laura, are there specific hours that the volunteers actually provide their time, or is that flexible? It is. It's all different. Uh, many women work, and so a lot of those do theirs after work. I mean, and there's no specific day or anything. You just you know, get with your gals usually and say, you know, we've got a lot of weeds in this area, so anybody that can show up, you know, go pull the weeds whenever you can. And some women like to work with other women, and so they'll arrange that, and that's how you do it. So uh, a lot of gals that work, work, then go to the parks after they work. And then, like, I'm older, so I don't work, and I do things early in the morning, and a few other gals do too, so... We don't have specific times or days. You just, you know, go with what your leader says generally. Laura, is Wayne Cruzy with the Marysville Chamber and Main Street office the person that individuals should contact if they'd like to get involved and volunteer with the Sparklers? Yes, it is. Last year we started, he, he came by and wanted to find some other gals and so we called a meeting and put it in the paper and everything and my goodness, I think we had 30 or 40 people that showed up and most of them are gals. We welcome anybody. Contact Wayne Cruzy at the Marysville Chamber and Main Street office. That number is 785-562-3101. How does it feel to know that you are contributing to make Marysville a better place? So I don't work or anything, so I really enjoy volunteering. You know, it's just something that I can do. And I do like seeing, I mean, I've done all the parks at different times. And I really do enjoy seeing them. You know, once we usually do this like from March through October. You know, that's the general time because then fall and winter comes and you don't have to do much then. And it's just enjoyable for me to see things get better looking and better looking and everything starts to green up and it just makes everything look better and makes everyone feel better. When people walk by, you know, they do say thank you. We appreciate, you know, things are looking good and we appreciate you doing this. So that's good for the town. 
Is there anything, Laura, that I haven't asked that you'd like our listeners to know about the sparklers and about the work you're doing? No, I don't think so, really. I think everybody enjoys what they're doing and likes doing it. And, you know, we hope everybody likes the way things are looking. I know I, for one, am very thankful for all the work that the sparklers are doing for the community. Kudos to all of you for giving your time to do that. I'm sure we're all thankful and and you're all welcome. I'd like to thank Laura for joining us today and thank you, the listeners, for tuning in. Make sure you tune in again next Saturday for another edition of Public Affairs on KNDY Radio.